Hi everybody, this is Kara. I wanted to do a quick little video and show you how I put together these safety pin brooches that I showed you a few videos ago. I thought I would start by showing you the basic supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need, obviously, a safety pin. This is a larger safety pin. It is two and a quarter inches long. I found these in a pack of 18 at Joanne Fabrics for, I believe, about $1.79 when it wasn't on sale, so it's a pretty good deal. Then you're going to need either some jump rings or some split rings and some head pins or eye pins, depending on which you'd like to use, some sort of cutting tool, and preferably some round nose pliers or something very similar. So then what you need to do is decide what your theme is, what colors you're going to use, all that good stuff. Get your bead dangles, which I call those little things, the bead dangles, and the charms ready to go. I also like to use some sort of bead or spacer bead on mine. I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. Then I get all the bead dangles ready and I get them all laid out just like you see here so that I can make sure, let me see if I can show you that a little bit better, that I like the way they all go together. And because my OCD tends to kick in when I do this type of thing, mine usually has a pattern, much like this one. I start off with what I'm calling a spacer bead, then there's a bead dangle, a charm, a bead dangle, a spacer bead bead dangle, charm, bead dangle, spacer bead, bead dangle, charm, bead dangle, spacer bead. So I like the symmetry of that. So that's what works for me. You guys do it however you want. Then you basically have to decide how far you need to bend the safety pin to get all of these good things on it. If you choose to not use something like these spacer beads, then you don't have to bend it too far. It's actually pretty easy. You can just use your hand, but be very gentle with it. Not so much because you're going to break it, but you'll get a curve here, kind of a divot that you won't like and you might not be able to fix if you're not careful. So if you're not using these little spacer beads, basically this is pretty much as far as you need to go. You could probably even do less than this and they'll just curve right on. Super simple, super easy. If like me, you want the spacer bead, then you're going to have to take it a little bit further and bend it like this, okay? That allows this particular bead that I'm using for the spacer beads to go, or it did before, let's see, there we go, all the way on. And then you just basically put all these on in the order you've already figured out, making sure as you do it that you still like the order because, you know, it's easy enough to change. And you just keep going until you get all of your beads, your charms, all of the good stuff on here. Like so. And of course, however many you use depends on your choice, your preference of if you want it super chunky, not so chunky. I've done a little bit of both. Uh, before I bend it, I would just double check that I like the order, everything looks good, which it does. Then I let, you know, everything go down towards this part as much as possible so I can bend it a little easier. I put my finger where the bend should go so that helps keep the curve semi-nice. And then just bend it back down. And there you go. All done. Super simple. What you want to avoid when you're bending these safety pins, let me show you, is a situation where you get that kind of little kind of divot. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. You might still be able to fix that, but it's just kind of a pain to have to deal with it. So you want to avoid that. Now I did use a different kind of safety pin as well when I made this particular brooch and that is a kind that I found on Etsy and it had these pre-made little loops down there. Works like a safety pin, same idea, nothing special about it other than those loops and they're fun to work with, just kind of depends on the look that you're going for. You can also find them on Etsy in bronze and I will try and put a link to the seller for this kind down below, but I don't believe the seller that I got these at is selling them anymore, so 
Uh, I would just suggest that you just search on Etsy for safety pins or eBay and you will probably find a ton and then just depending on where you live and what the shipping is you can um, make your decision there on which one you want to buy. Um, I usually get a few questions when I do bead and charm videos about where I get my charms and beads. So let me just tell you, I do find a lot of my charms on Etsy. I also find a lot of charms at Michael's. They have a brand there, I think is called Bead Landing, that has little charm collections. And that, in fact, is where I got the charms for this one, which has the little mirror the little shoe, um, this little word that says diva, and the little crown. That was one of those bead landing charm collections. I just wait until those things go on sale and then I usually pick up several because I do like to do bead projects quite a bit. So that's how I get those. I'm also lucky enough to have several really good bead stores here in town where I live. And Michaels and Joann's actually also has a whole bunch of really good um, deals, but I tend to not buy anything at either one of those stores uh, unless it's on sale or I have a coupon. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys will have fun making some of these. I think they'd be great Christmas gifts and they're also a great starting point for those of you who have wanted to start say doing the charms that you see me do for swaps or charm bracelets. It's a much simpler process, but it's basically the same thing. I don't do anything different for a charm bracelet or charm. It's just there's a lot more on it. So this would give you a great little idea of that's something you would like to do if you made some of these brooches uh, because you'd just be doing more of the same for those other projects. So I hope this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. Sorry for rambling. It is really early here, but I really like this little project and I hope you do too. And I hope wherever you're at, you're having a great day. Bye.